Now we finally conquer that other law of light, which is the law of refraction. So we'll be careful with this one here. It's not reflection, refraction has some slightly different letters in there. And this is sometimes known as the bending law for light, not the bouncing law. That's a law of reflection. This is the bending law, the law of refraction. So let me tell you what that's about. Once again, the setup is about the same. You suppose then that you have some material right here, like water, or glass, something like that, and you have a light ray coming in, and it hits the surface once again. Now, of course, we know one thing that's going to happen is light's going to reflect off according to the law of reflection, where the angle with respect to the normal, which I guess I should draw it again. We're going to need it here. Angle with respect to the normal is always going to be the same. So here's the normal right here. But I won't draw the reflected rain at the moment. But you know it's not going to go out like this or straight up. It's going to go out sort of in a symmetrical way so that this angle is equal to the outgoing one. But the bending law, or the law of refraction, has to do with, uh, let's just say then, uh, let's summarize it this way. Um, light goes into the next material. It actually goes into it. And what do you mean by that? It goes into the next material. So remember the law of reflection, the light always stayed on the same side. So it started on this side over here and it always stayed on that side because it's bouncing off like that. But the law of refraction, the bending law, lights actually go into the material. So yes, 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 the light here might not might, but will actually go into the material like this. And the odd part about it is it doesn't go straight like this, okay? It does not do that. You're not going to see light just sort of penetrate straight in like that, but it's actually going to bend like this. It's going to bend like this. And so this is what light will do. So it goes in like this, and it sort of keeps going in with a bend. So in for here and in for here. And right here at this interface, right here, that's where the bending happens. And so you can see that light used to be on this path right here. And maybe in the absence of this material, it would go nice and straight. But the material is there, so light has encountered something. So it's going to bend now. Let me show you some better examples of this. So here is that simulation I was showing you before, where I have this laser I can turn on. And look at it carefully once again. Here's a laser beam right here, and here's that outgoing reflected beam. The ingoing angle right here is equal to the outgoing angle right here. That's a law of reflection. You know that. But now our focus is on this beam right here that's going into this big area of water down here that's in the lower half of the video. And as you can see, as I move the beam around here, take your eyes off the law of the reflected beam for a moment. We're not talking about that at the moment, but just look at the one going into the water. And you can see sort of that no matter what I do, However angle that ray goes into the water right at this point here, it bends. There's like a little kink right here where the light bends as it goes through like that. And it's actually a, a true phenomenon. You get a little bit of bending there, and I will show you some of the bending in the next video.